What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, Yen, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. Hey, so listen, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I don't have a lot of footage of me uh, training in judo. So somebody mentioned this in the comments uh, a while back ago and um, I didn't get a, I didn't get a, I think I answered them or maybe I didn't, I'm not sure, but I thought about it and I wanted to address this in this video. Now I do have some, but it's in an old video and I did upload it on YouTube, uh, one of me in competition, uh, but I think that's pretty much it. And I got a little bit of footage here and there. Um, and now, okay, so when I started judo, I was uh, 36 years old. And when I started at the club where I was at, it was actually frowned upon. To be filming while you're training so that's one of the reasons why I wasn't able to film and I don't have a lot of footage uh, and back then what was I on YouTube already yeah yeah I was I was I already, I already was on YouTube um, but yeah I I wasn't able to film because every time I would film I would get shit for it <laughs> You know, so I was like, okay, I was, there wasn't much I could do at that time. And also I didn't have a camera at that time either. So I was filming with just my phone. So the footage itself was like, you know, the phone that I have right now, which by the way, I think I'm going to change soon. Um, because, you know, like, uh, you know, people have, been, people have been telling me, you got to get yourself an iPhone, good camera and all that. And I've been just, you know, being a cheap, cheap ass about it and be, I was like, no, I got my phone here, you know, my little uh, Samsung S8, so I'm just gonna like hang on to this. And at that time, I didn't have a camera, so I was filming with that um, Samsung S8. I was bringing a tripod, and I tried a couple of times, and I do have a little bit of footage, but I mean, it wasn't, uh, I got a lot of slack for it. <clears throat> so it just discouraged me from filming, um, you know, like uh, at the club, that, that's one. Uh, two, to be honest, I was a little bit, um shy about it in a sense right like uh, i wasn't you know when you start off on youtube guys if ever you guys start or if some of you are on youtube you'll notice that it's kind of it's not a natural thing to be in front of a camera talking like even now like sometimes i'm uh, I'm, a I'm a lot more comfortable than i used to be mm, but when i started i think it was in like 2016 17 or something like that uh yeah, it was awkward as shit. Like you guys, if you if you watch some of my older videos without any thumbnails, it was just like a crappy, uh, well, it was a thumbnail, but it was really a basic one where I just took a screenshot and then I just like wrote, wrote, wrote like across the screen like that. Uh, yeah, you, you guys will notice that I'm, I'm a lot more uh, uptight, I feel. Anyways, that's, that's the impression I get. That's what I remember, right? So it's kind of nerve wracking. So imagine you gotta get used to get, uh, getting in front of a camera right here in your home, while you're, cause that's where I film most of my shit at this point. But imagine taking the camera outside and filming outside. Now it's like everybody sees you filming and you kind of feel weird about that. Uh, now, even though at the gym, like everybody knows me, uh, you know, at, the, at my judo place, judo club where I used to train, it's still, it's an awkward thing, right? And I, so, that's, that's one of the reasons. And then of course I got footage in competition, all that film from my phone and other people's phones. But I mean, it's just footage of me fighting. So I mean, eh, you know, it's not me talking to you guys and explaining. And of course, uh, video editing wise, I didn't know how to edit video. So how am I going to, how do you say it? Uh, take a video uh, footage of me training. And then after that, putting it in a video and then making it so that, um, you know it's actually valuable to you guys like you know i gotta talk over it or i have to like okay so this this is what happens and i'm gonna talk about it and blah 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 so that the video actually makes sense i'm not just gonna post like random videos of me training without any talking and i couldn't figure that part out and now i still don't know how to do that but i have people working with uh that i work with to help me edit my videos and and so but the problem right now is that since uh uh oh Okay, let me just back up a second. I trained there for four years at that club where I couldn't film. Okay, four years. So where it was frowned upon and I had like hiccups about, uh, you know, filming. And I only got this camera here recently, like, uh, uh, darn it, what was it? I think like last year or something like that. Okay, so it hasn't been that long that I gotten a, a real camera and I invested in the editor and all that. So yeah, so, Four years at that first club, which I couldn't film and I didn't have anything. 
uh, any equipment, any, any editing skills. I was just filming off my phone and uploading. And, and I got that far. I got, I actually built up a community through just that. And now like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go all in and I'm going to invest in, you know, equipment and the editor and all that. So, but then as I did that, well, guess what happened? Yes, the pandemic. So now the pandemic happened. So there's no, I'm, I'm stuck at home. Essentially, everything's locked down. I can't film. Um, but with that said, when, um, when things open up again and I'm able to film, I will. And now here's the thing. Now I'm less shy about it. That's one. And two, my coach, that the new club where I'm at, because I was four years at that first club. And then I was another year at this other club before transitioning to this club right now, currently. And at the current club, the coach is fine with me filming. And it's gonna be great because I'll be able to film and show you guys technique, show you guys how I train. And we're gonna have live, uh, we're gonna have footage. And sometimes we're gonna, we're gonna try and do it live if I, if I could just hook it up. But we'll do lives on Friday where you got a whole bunch, it's, it's pure rumbling. So we're gonna be rumbling for like uh, essentially two hours. You know, and uh, that's what it's, it's going to be great. Actually, it's two hour class. Let's say we warm up for 30 minutes, an hour and a half of just pure rumbling, you know, and I'll see if I could put that live and, and, and talk at the same time or maybe edit it afterwards. We'll see. I'll figure something out. But that's going to be that's going to be really cool. And I'm going to be able to film, mm, you know, me showing techniques and talking about like, OK, do this, do that, you know. And and yeah, so definitely that's in the that's in the plans. And as soon as I'll, I'm able to do it, I'll do it. And then of course, <clears throat> this time around, when I'll go to competition, well, I'll have a well, camera to film with and I'm gonna get myself a better phone. And yeah, we're gonna have some, uh, some competition footage, you know, walk around with the camera, You're gonna get, you guys are gonna see like what I really uh, do uh, in terms of um, what I do for my training, how often I actually train. Cause you know, talking about it, me in front of the camera, it's one thing, but when you guys actually will see for a 42 year old guy, how I train, your jaw's gonna drop, I, I think. You know, like not everybody, there's guys who are just as fit or fitter than me, but I think, I believe I'm up there. For a 42 year old, uh, physically where I'm at, and what I'm still trying to do, even though it's, it's late in life, so to speak, and I got a whole bunch of injuries I'm dealing with now, but uh, I don't care, I'm not gonna let that stop me. <laughs> so, hey, listen guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to put out, put that out there for you guys and explain to you why there's actually not a lot of footage of me uh, working out, you know? Uh, I hope that made sense, but there will be. So just, you know, stay tuned for that as soon as things open up again. I'm in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Things aren't open yet, you know, we're still waiting. We got a curfew. Yeah, it's kinda, you know, I'm thinking maybe this summer, hopefully they're gonna open up because, you know, people are, are getting a little bit frustrated here uh, regarding that, but it's gonna happen what's gonna happen. So that's it for this one. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoy that. Hey, like, comment, like the video, comment below, share the video, of course, if you guys are need help in training and stuff like that, you need some kind of um, help, you know, hey, just, uh, just let me know. Like all the information is below to reach me. So you can schedule a call, you can do all kinds of stuff. And I train people for, uh, for fitness too, because I'm also a, a personal trainer, a coach. So all that's in the description. That's it guys for this one. Love you. Peace.